What is up, outdoorsman? Greg here, and today we're talking all about how to film your hunts in your saddle. Let me start off with I have no idea where I'm going to go in this video. We're going to talk a little bit about this, a little bit about that, and then we're going to show some specifics on how I set up with my saddle when I'm hunting to film my hunts. I apologize in advance. I'm probably going to be a little bit all over the place, but I'm sorry. It is what it is. First of all, filming your hunts is hard. It is not easy. Do not think that you can jump in a stand, uh, a traditional tree stand or a saddle or any sort of elevated hunting position, even a blind, a, a, a blind on a food plot or something. It's hard. You have to learn your gear, you have to learn the cameras, you have to learn all this stuff, and then you have to figure out how to move without getting seen by the deer, and then you have to figure out how to get the right shot and how to keep it level and steady and... It's not easy. There is a lot of work that goes into self-filming your hunt. So my advice, don't do it. Don't get started. Uh, once you get the bug, it's difficult. So last year when I started filming my hunts, I took my camera with me every single time because it becomes an addiction. Oh man, what happens if Mr. Big comes this time and I'm not there with my camera to catch it? What's going to happen? YouTube is going to be so mad. Saddlehunter.com is going to be so mad because they didn't see me doing it. And oh, what am I going to do? It becomes an addiction. So... My advice would be don't start. However, you're probably not going to listen to me because I'm not very smart and you have your own way of doing things anyway. So if you're going to do it, let's talk about how you can do it successfully. My first tip, you're going to want two cameras. I use a GoPro Hero Session and then a Handycam Canon Vixia model whatever. I don't really know. Some Canon inexpensive camera I bought on eBay. You're not a tech guy, just make sure that the camera that you're going to get records in 1080p, full HD. That's all you really need to do. 4K is nice, but it's not really necessary right now. The reason you really want two cameras is because you're going to have one camera, which I use the Canon Vixia for my main shot or my A-roll shot. That's the one that's going to be on the deer. That's the one that's going to have zoom in and zoom out. That's the one that I'm going to put on a camera arm so I get nice, smooth pans and tilts. That's the camera that you're going to do most of your filming with. That is the workhorse of your self-filming setup. I spent about 100 bucks on mine, and it's not super fancy. It's not super high-tech. It doesn't have all the whizzes and gadgets that a lot of these fancy cameras have because I'm just learning, and once you get better, you might want to upgrade your camera. You might not. You're going to want a second camera, though, so you can have a dedicated shot of you, the hunter, the subject, while you are getting ready for a shot, while you're taking the shot. Just, just think about it. You can't have a camera on a deer, and you can't have a camera on you shooting the shot. So the only really way to do that with one camera is to actually take the shot, and at that point in time, you'd have the camera on the deer, on whatever it is you're shooting. You have to come back and actually fake the shot if you wanted to have that as part of your video. The way I do it is I have my main camera that is focused on the deer, and then I have a GoPro Hero Session that is attached to my tether, and that films me. That way I can cut out all the wonkiness of moving the camera to find the deer, getting it set up, and all that stuff. Nobody wants to see that. So while I'm doing all that, I would cut to a shot of me and then edit them together with the straight cut and it makes it look nice, seamless, and smooth to the viewer. Brings me to the importance of B-roll. This right now, what I'm doing, you're looking at me, I'm talking. That is the main shot. That is the A-roll. If you were in a hunting scenario, the footage of the deer doing whatever it's doing, feeding, getting ready to move through your shooting lane, that's your A-roll, right? That is the main subject of the film. But it's important to have B-roll, and that would be things like cutting to a shot of leaves or 
uh, of something going on that was interesting, a bird, a squirrel, river otters, an alligator, whatever you want to film, that is your B-roll, and it's very important to have that. So if I was up here and I was talking about how much I love my dogs and how great they are and how much they love to swim and how much they love to catch the balls, I would cut to these awesome shots of them in the water and that would be my B-roll. And that helps illustrate what I'm talking about and it's much more engaging for the viewer. So B-roll is super important. I'm not great at B-roll. There are a lot of people that are a lot better at B-roll than me, but it's important to have B-roll. Let's move into what you actually need, some gear. What do you need to buy? What do you need to find? So we already talked about the cameras. I recommend a inexpensive uh, handy cam or or camcorder for those of you just getting started to figure out if you want this to do this or not. A GoPro or some sort of action cam, small for a second angle of your um, of your activity. And then you're also going to want some other things that help you get smooth footage. First of all, you're going to want a camera arm. I recommend the 4th Arrow camera arm. It's the best one that I've used. It's awesome. I love it. This is what helps you get your A-roll level and and steady you can get good b-roll with this as well because it gives you a nice pan and tilt function and super important to get a good camera arm for my second angle or my gopro uh, uh hunter angle the one that gets me this little clip is super important i bought it on amazon i will link to it in, in the description below that i clip this right onto my tether that way it follows me no matter where i go and i can get that shot of me doing whatever i'm doing Another thing you're going to want is an inexpensive tripod. I use this to get b-roll shots, stuff like me walking through the woods or whatever. You can do um, a little bendy tripod. I'll link to one of those in below. I use those. You can use a more traditional camera tripod. There's lots and lots of options. Just find one that fits your budget and you can definitely make whatever you have work. I want to go into great detail about, about gear. Um, I'll link to a bunch of stuff below that you can go and look at, and these, these are the things that I use all the time. It all depends on your budget. How much do you want to spend? Figure that out, and then you can go and start researching the things that will help you be a better filmmaker or videographer. Finally, editing. Editing is super important. Now, if you're just going to share this with your friends and family or you're just going to stick it in an archive so you can come back and, and look at the footage at some later date, you don't need to really be a, a great editor or even really spend that much time learning learning how to do it. Just You just have the footage for whenever you want to use it. And cameras now are good enough to where you can catalog your activities, your hunts, and, and you don't really need to do that much to it if you're just using it for for you know memory sake you want to put together nice looking videos that you might want to share with with others and maybe you want to put it on youtube or some other some other way for for viewers to consume it then i would recommend spending some time on youtube and learning how to edit i use adobe premiere pro and i try to keep my edit super super simple i rarely use any sort of edit other than just a straight cut and a cut just means going from one clip to the next there's no twirl in there, there's no star, there's no big fancy wipes or checkerboards or barn doors or anything like that. You can do that, uh, but I think it's just distracting and, and all it does is look amateurish in my opinion. So me personally, I stick to nice straight cuts. It's the easiest way to edit, plus I think it ends up, with, ends up uh, showing a pretty professional product. The way I learned how to edit was getting on YouTube and typing in. How do I edit videos with XXX software? That's how I did it. I use Adobe Premiere, like I said, so I just go onto YouTube. How do I do this in Adobe Premiere? And then I watch a 10 minute video on how to do it. I go into Adobe Premiere, I practice it, and then I learned a new skill. Finally, if you wanna become a better editor and make better films, the thing that I suggest is to get on YouTube, find people that are doing a really good job, and then copy them. That's what I do. I just find users like Peter McKinnon and Casey Neistat. I steal a lot of stuff from vloggers and tech people and photography people. I watch their videos and then I steal what they're doing and that's how I make my videos. It's not rocket science. Uh, I'm not that creative, so I have to use other people's strengths and try to adapt them for me. Now my camera setup is super simple in the tree. When I get up and I tie in my tether into my saddle, my Fourth arrow camera arm bracket goes right by my knee at about two to three o'clock on the tree. 
that's where I install my camera arm every single time, unless I can't. You could put it on the left side of the tree if you wanted to, but I don't think it's uh, as user friendly because most people are right handed. So using the camera with your right hand is easier. And that way, if the camera is mounted on the right hand side of the tree, it just makes it a little bit easier. Most people that I talk to uh, that self film do the same thing with the saddle about knee height on the right hand side of the tree. You set it up there, you have no problems filming any angle that you could possibly imagine in front of, to the side, behind. You can do it all with that one mounting position. So I always mount it right there. Like I said earlier, my second camera, my GoPro, that goes on my tether, clips right in front of me and it shoots down. Anytime uh, I need a shot of me um, maneuvering for a shot, I just, that's the camera angle that I use. Then when it's slow, I use the main camera on the camera arm to get B-roll shots. And then I generally do my interviews where I'm talking back and forth to that main A-roll camera. I always use the onboard mic on the camera just because it's easier, but I know a lot of people use external shotgun mics and you can get into that if you want. I just don't. So when you're starting out, this all is gonna seem really complicated. It's really not, it's really simple. You get to the tree, you put on your camera arm, you drop in your camera and you start filming. That's really it. The things that you wanna keep in mind is you want a nice steady level shot. The camera arm does that for you. So invest in a good camera arm. Uh, you don't want to show footage with shaky and moving all around. It just, nobody wants to watch that. So that's it for me. Hopefully this helped you understand a little bit more about how to set up and get started in self-filming your hunts. You can go down the rabbit hole as deep as you want to go and then you can get as expensive or as inexpensive as you want. You can do this on a budget and spend just a little bit of money or you can spend many thousands of dollars getting set up to do this. It's really up to you, whatever you feel comfortable with and whatever your goals are. So, you know, you need to match your budget to your goals and then your experience to your goals and, and, and all of those things, they really matter and they're going to end up making you a better filmmaker in the end. Thank you for watching. Like I said, I'm going to link to pretty much all the products I use down below so you can just look at it, check it out, see if it's something you want. And if you don't like it, okay, great. Go find something else that works for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out some of my other videos and uh, remember to get outdoors.